Today we're installing white PVC fascia board on an existing home supplied by Menards. After successfully removing the existing trim, it's time to prep for installation. We'll start by ripping a piece of fascia board to use as a spacer. You may then cut your spacer into segments using a 10 inch Performax miter saw sold exclusively at Menards. Next, we'll cut a fresh edge on our fascia board. The final step of preparation is choosing either the wood textured side or the smooth finished side of the board. We're going to use a gauge block so that we have a caulk edge and it gives it a little bit of a profile. We're using gun nails on this particular installation. Uh, another form of uh, fastening, you could also use spiral galvanized nails, roughly two and a half inches long. Once the first board is secured in place, we'll take a few measurements to accurately cut our second board. PVC is simple to work with and cuts just like wood. Miter cuts work extremely well and will leave a sharp edge for joining boards. Be sure your boards fit seamlessly with one another before securing them to your home. PVC is recommended anywhere it may come in contact with water, both inside and outside your home. Common uses are windowsills, brick molds around doors and windows, and fascia boards. This material will never rot or warp due to environmental factors. After following these simple instructions, you will have successfully installed new fascia board around your home.